Well, today marks 145 days since Trayvon Perry from Paso Robles was reported missing and then later found dead inside a Riverside home. We'll give you a look at his celebration of life held today, but first let's bring you up to speed on the case. Perry was reported missing in March and after weeks of searching, police announced they found his remains at a home in Riverside. In June, two people were arrested. Nicholas Ron, who was charged for the murder in the case, and Viviana Rodriguez, who was arrested as an accessory to murder. Investigators say Ron and Perry were acquaintances, but a motive for the crime has not yet been released. KSBY News reporter Sydney Branch shows us how the family and friends are now honoring Perry's life in a way he would want to be remembered. He lives here in Paso Robles. He's my older brother, and he was murdered. The investigation still ongoing, but now a shift in focus for 27 year old Trevon Perry. This is a party. This is it's not a funeral. It's not. It's a party in honor of him. A celebration of life for Trey. It's a larger scale barbecue than at my house that we had every weekend with Trey there. <laughs> Friends, family and community members gathered in Paso Robles Saturday while keeping distance and wearing masks to celebrate one life. I think we 100% feel the support. A life the family says many didn't even get a chance to meet. This is in lieu of a funeral because we didn't want tears. We wanted to celebrate because that's what Trevon is all about. And a life who touched those who did. Tally! like Trey's one year old daughter, Vitalia. Trey's mother and sister say it's the small things. This is like his trademark. He would always do this in pictures that they'll miss the most. Just the fun. His dancing, his blues. <laughs> his silliness, Yeah. his, he's fun. He's... I'm, I miss seeing him play with kids. Questions still unanswered about the death of Trevon Perry. Yeah, they got somebody, but not the end. Investigators have done a good job, she says, but her and her family pray the case won't be swept under the rug. I want to reach out to law enforcement and the people that have cruise nights. Uh, I think it would be an awesome idea to cruise in honor of him and Christopher Wilson. Christopher Vento Wilson, a friend of Perry's who was killed in Shandon last June. But with persistence and a party like this, Carissa and her mother say, I don't think Paso Robles will ever forget Trevon. No, we won't let him. Sydney Brandt, KSBY News. The investigation is ongoing and police say they expect to arrest more people in connection to the case. Anyone with information is encouraged to call the Paso Robles Police Department or leave an anonymous tip with Crime Stoppers by calling 805-549-STOP.